Now, what is interesting in all of this diplomacy is that Russia, one of the key and perhaps the most key player in the Ukrainian crisis, is absent from the Munich Security Conference. However, its ally, China, has got its back. The foreign minister of China delivered his address on the second day of the security meet, voicing his support for Russia. He also blamed the United States and the NATO alliance for creating alarm over European security. And also called out the United States for acting against globalization and uniformity. In the past few years, the most frequently discussed topic at the MSC was uncertainty. And this year, it has been replaced by a sense of helplessness. All this reflects the deep confusion among nations about the current state of the world, as well as their widely shared concern about its future. Secretary General of the United Nations Antonio Guterres cautioned expressly many times that the world is at risk of division and major countries are expected to shoulder their responsibilities and live up to international obligations. As China sees it, this warning is no alarmism. Indeed, our world faces once again the danger of division and confrontation. Certain big power is reviving the Cold War mentality and stoking confrontation between blocs. It willfully wields unilateral sanctions and undermines international rule of law. It puts together various circles and stirs up antagonism. The West has stated voicing its concerns over the growing closeness between Russia and China, especially their alignment in opposition to the U.S. hegemony. And also their recent meeting, the visible bonhomme and open support for each other has also led to the perception of the possibility of a new world order that challenges the American and European dominance of the world. And the Western leaders have now accused Russia and China of seeking to replace or displace the existing international order. We cannot let this stand. We are facing a blatant attempt to rewrite the rules of the international order. One only has to read the recent communique issued by Russian and Chinese leaders. They seek a new era, as they say, to replace the existing international rules. They prefer the rule of the strongest to the rule of law, intimidation instead of self-determination, coercion instead of cooperation. Well, the presidents of China and Russia, remember, had held their first in-person meeting in almost about two years. Earlier this month, Vladimir Putin had flown all the way to Beijing on the invitation of the Chinese President Xi Jinping. And the meeting took place just ahead of the opening ceremony of the Winter Olympics 2022 on the 4th of February. And this meeting, of course, happened in the backdrop of an escalating crisis over Ukraine. Vladimir Putin hailed Russia's unprecedented ties with China and even confirmed Russia's readiness to continue working on the Chinese proposed Global Development Initiative. Most importantly, the two countries also issued a joint statement of strategic alliance, paving a new type of international relations that would now feature and also lay emphasis on multipolarity, international law-based world order, self-determination and mutually beneficial cooperation. The joint statement also opposed the imposition of unilateral approaches in addressing international issues, interference in the internal affairs of other nations and infringement of legitimate rights and unilateral sanctions and confrontation between the major world powers. The deepening ties between the two giants, China and Russia, comes at a time of spiraling tensions in the Western Bloc. And experts believe that these two countries are likely to remain strongly aligned in the coming years to pursue their common interests. The rivalries, strategies and competition are perceived to unbolt a new era of international relations. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.